What's up guys, this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile and we are looking at update 5.1 patch notes and there are a lot of things in the game that's going to be added in update 5.1 and we are going to walk over few of them in this video and look at what to expect with respect to the patch notes that is being declared. So here is the patch notes of update 5.1. This is official uh, by the way guys. It's a completely official. So the major part of update 5.1 is going to be introduction of classic Wonder Woman as well as a feature of pass which will be like Wonder Pass, Injustice Pass, however you want to call it. Uh, like uh, so this pass feature has been also detailed in this update uh, like uh, the patch update here. So let's look at this feature new injustice pass beta feature so we are going to look at that first before you know jumping into uh, how the classic wanted woman and the classic team is kind of developed as well so wonder pass guide is here so what is basically the wonder pass so if you guys are not aware it's something similar to what we see in games like uh, battlegrounds mobile india as well as pubg mobile then uh, like call of duty so you have uh, different levels of tiers which you get from completing you know a ton of objectives so it's the same thing which is being in you know incorporated in injustice 2 mobile as well and you can see here this is how it it's gonna look like and uh, they have mentioned about a free tier as well as premium tiers so there will be three tiers and the premium plus is gonna give you additional 10 tiers as an advantage so first things first this uh, you know the season of this uh, pass is gonna last for three weeks so they have already declared it it's gonna be for three weeks and you have to complete all the objectives that are there and you're gonna get rewards as well so let's look at how the system is gonna work it's gonna work on the basis of justice points so what is this justice points this justice points is something that you earn based on the completion of the objectives like you can see a few of the objectives uh, like mentioned here spent xp capsules successfully perform rush attacks 500 times it's gonna be an interesting one successfully perform rush attack 500 times it's probably like if it's across you know all uh, tiers you can probably do an infinite uh, combo uh, completely in arena or in uh, league rates or in solo rates and you're gonna complete that so uh, these are different objectives which are listed here though so how it's it's gonna work is you complete that objective and you get that justice points and the justice points is gonna help you up level up the tier and also you can purchase the tier from what i have seen uh, you can purchase the tier as well with power gems and uh, you know you can see that here as well so there are a couple of uh, like premium passes here as you can see the premium and the premium plus uh, what advantages it's going to give is something that we are going to see as well it's only ten dollars that's a good sign the base one is ten dollars and the premium plus is going to be you know uh, twenty dollars but uh, what it will help you is definitely to unlock classic wonder woman so you won't be able to unlock classic wonder woman with the free access wonder pass so what does the free access wonder pass provide us it provides us with power gems credit same chips xp capsules tier 2 to 7 artifact reforged token so this is definitely a good sign if you are getting that artifact reforged token there is definitely you know uh, like a lack of artifact reforged tokens and you won't be able to get a perfect role as well on the artifacts uh, like the all these the beta club uh, all the strong artifacts you need to get perfect roles to make them even more op but uh, because you don't have that artifact reforged tokens freely available across and uh, like often uh, like often available i would say it uh, is definitely a good addition to have you also get stellar orbs cosmic orbs and all these orbs as well as a profile picture so you get at the end of the day 20 objectives and you get three weeks to complete it if you take the free pass what is the advantage of the premium water pass it's talking about dark metal artifact fragments as well as a classic wonder woman hero shard so you're gonna guarantee getting classic wonder woman hero shards at least leveled up to three stars you're getting it opened at one star by the way guys so this is something that uh, you know i'm seeing for the first time i would say for gold characters for silver characters you can get a one star but uh, like for a gold character to be at one star i believe this is the first time uh, like i've been playing the game for over four years and uh, i don't recall it being there uh, correct me if i'm wrong uh, by the way guys so we also get dark metal artifact fragments so this 
confirm something by the way this definitely confirms that the next solo raid that's gonna come is gonna be the Batman who loves solo raid because if you guys are not aware Batman who loves a visor is actually made of dark metal and that's why this you can see here is dark metal artifact fragments and uh, how it's gonna look like I think we have it seen here this is how it's gonna look like you can see uh, how that artifact fragment is gonna look like so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun new solo raids is always fun so gear reports you're getting rare which is okay i mean not a big deal power james squared sim chips xp capsules tie 4 to 7 instead of tie 2 to 7 so uh, more often than not in the free pass i believe you're gonna get a tier, tier 2 uh, xp capsule but here you're getting a tier 4. you also get epic artifact reforge tokens that's great uh, like you just get a rare artifact reforge token i guess in the free pass you can just get an artifact reforge mention so getting an epic one is gonna be a uh, fun because you can end up you know perfecting your artifact and you get stellar orbs cosmic orbs galactic orbs and intergalactic orbs which is required for promoting characters to seven stars you are kind of guaranteed here in the premium pass which is not a guarantee i believe from what i could see for the free pass you might get but uh, it's not a guarantee from what I could understand from the first pass of, uh, you know, reading this particular article. Unique profile picture or reverse and objectives from the free access and wonder pass and you get additional 10 premium objectives with the premium uh, pass. So premium plus it gives additional 10 instantly open tiers. So uh, is it worth it? It remains a question to see uh, like is it worth it or not because if you are able to complete all the objectives at the end of the day uh, within the duration of uh, uh, like uh, the weeks that are mentioned for the passes and if you're receiving uh, the same rewards I don't believe premium plus is going to be worth it at the end of the day if you are able to reach the final tiers but if it's not then that's a different scenario so it grants you 10 instantly open tiers it's an ad added advantage but is it worth the 10 dollars is something that we're going to look at so can you skip the tiers you can with power gems but i personally feel on the first pass that this is not a good option by the way i personally feel on the first pass you see what i did there <laughs> anyways guys so uh, like you're already spending a lot of power gems to a great objectives to get power gems back i mean it's a loop uh, i don't understand why you would want to do that so uh, like it's a good option to have if you have a lot of uh, gems to you know spend away it's a good option to have but it's not something that uh, probably i am going to do so how long does it last it will last for three weeks and uh, that's that's a good sign that you are going to get new content every three weeks so this is similar to all the games that i've mentioned call of duty uh, battlegrounds mobile india pubg uh, mobile as well so what if injustice expires so this is uh, like you know added uh, support uh, messages so let's go back here let's look at the classic team improvements and we can look at it here and these are the details so classic wonder woman as well as classic batman is kind of improved and what improvement do we have here so we can see for classic batman if classic batman is in your roster all batman and classic heroes gain a bonus to their attack so this is something that is added it was not before uh, like before it was not uh, you know the classic heroes it was only batman so now it's applicable for uh, like all the batmans and uh, this is a good sign there when an opponent misses an attack on classic heroes due to being blinded the team gains power so definitely this entire theme of the classic team is around blind so like we saw uh, you know the batman ninja team working on the theme of lethals and now this classic trinity team and they're gonna work around uh, the theme of uh, you know blinding the opponent additionally batman adds the classic team but aids the classic team rather uh, by empowering their rush attacks with blind uh, so like i mentioned it's working completely around that you know blind uh, theme so power of sun passive this is for classic superman active teammate heals from power boost that's gonna be great power generation is not considered as a power boost so as you can see uh the Heroes due to being blinded, the team gains power. So this too is gonna work in sync where you would, you know, get health as well as power because your opponents are missing because they're blinded. So this is how this entire thing is gonna work and this is gonna be an OP thing. So it's gonna be tough to kill this team, I believe, in arena as well as in raids. It's gonna be tough to kill this team. 
I don't see how it's gonna be that OP in raids like uh, the King of Atlantis Aquaman level, Black Manta level and all this you know raid masters levels but it's gonna be something fun is what I would say. All teammates are granted an increased defense when classic Superman is in their team. All teammates are granted by the way guys so this is gonna be helpful this is gonna give you you know a passive of I'm a Superman as well I believe and Superman as well I believe because they all kind of grant an increase to the defense in your team and all teammates this is not only classic teammates it's a good addition is what I would say so let's look at the other things here so let's look at the new solo rate coming soon like I mentioned it's gonna be Batman who loves it's Batman who loves definitely including the new artifacts which are gonna be called dark metal artifacts so more to be revealed soon and bug fixes here is something that you know I am kind of sad about with a few of the bug fixes here. So one is the first one is all I'm sad about definitely. So it says that the victory conditions have changed. It was previously more damage dealt, but right now you have to knock out every one of your opponents in arena to win. So previously I could win with you know a 20k threat goiler grod, silver goiler grod. I can just do a complete set of infinite combo, and at the end of the day the opponents will not be knocked out, but I'm still gonna win because. I I've done more damage than them this is not gonna take place anymore and I'm kind of sad with it because uh, the characters which can do an infinite combo and not high in threat could still win matches but right now they cannot win anymore also opponent roster sorting was changed from most used heroes to threat level so this is when you click on your opponent uh, roster in arena and uh, that's a good sign because uh, definitely you would uh, want to see it at threat level so that uh, you get an understanding of the opponent's best characters so that's a good addition i would say league raid this is this is big guys this is big fixed a bug that allowed raven to remove damage cap and critical attack resistance from boss brainiac what were you guys expecting this was bound to happen this was definitely bound to happen we can't help it at all but uh, this is how it works like this is how it works like and uh, it's it's sad so now no more p1 p2 p3 these things are not going to be uh, taking place these things are definitely not going to be taking place probably p1 p2 that's uh, that's the most thing that i can see Let's look at solar raid bugs here which are fixed. I think reinforced increased boss damage even if special attack was unsuccessful against armor superman. It's not armor superman. It's actually I think a boss superman they are referring to in rise of krypton. Uh, but fixed a bug that occurred when modified reinforced increased bosses damage. Right. Uh, ah right. So this is interesting that I didn't even know that this existed by the way. I literally have no explanation for this but they have fixed a bug which nobody actually asked for anyways let's fix the bug that occurred when damage from boss red hoods SP continued increasing above 250 percent when player added time with red hoods super move at level 3 of solo raid event the last contract so what does this indicate red hoods SP continued increasing above 250 percent the boss's damage kept increasing we are not aware of it and uh, only player added time with red hood super move so you have red hood against red hood and only then this bug got triggered i don't think somebody has tested that yet but uh, it's a bug they're telling it's fixed i just believe that uh, it's kind of fixed fixed a bug that caused boss dead shot to get additional damage on his first special i don't think anybody actually cares about a uh, boss dead shot and uh, this bug at all but they have fixed it artifacts redundant text effects in metal Earth's power source description were removed so this is something that i'm happy that it's removed uh, i actually checked it yesterday they are talking about uh, you know the stun resistance so metal is power source if you're not aware it uh, you know resist stuns as well as you know uh, like uh, like generates power i think or uh, like i don't remember correctly but it generates uh, it definitely resists stun and it was repeated a couple of times there so that got removed. I mean, fine, it's fine. Nobody actually cares about it. Like fixed a bug that occurred when Promethean Grimace first effect did not use the duration of the blind. So that's a good uh, fix as well uh, because if you inflicted blind with uh, the Batman Ninja team, uh, like uh, the Batman Ninja Catwoman can inflict blind with all of her special abilities, then uh, the duration of that was not increased if you had the Promethean uh, Grenade artifact. And I have seen this uh, before and I was kind of... Uh, like not very worried because i would you know swipe out uh, 
to better artifacts there but it's good something that uh, they have fixed it for a positive note like fixed a bug with god killer that caused a second debuff block disable if the opponent was already under that debuff i mean that's okay none really cares about it and fixed a bug with god killer when the second uh, second effect renewed first apply debuff uh guys this is just fine i mean this is not a game changer at all for characters let's look at the bugs that got fixed and this are going to be some good uh, bugs that are getting fixed fixed a bug that allowed raven stacking attack to be interrupted good sign now no more interruption from uh, brainiac in phase one that's horrendous it's it's pretty bad to see raven stacking getting you know interrupted several times fixed a bug preventing raven from jumping over opponent's projectiles i think this was already fixed in the last update but they've just mentioned it here again fixed a bug with vixen's first passive wolf pack description that indicated damage increases instead of attack Ooh, this is gonna be interesting to see how vixen's passive is now gonna work it should be uh, like attack stat getting increased but it was not and it was not working i think uh, it was covered uh, by uh, sigvold as well uh, in his video so yes definitely it's a good sign that uh, you know this is getting added fix a bug that caused the maximum percentage damage dealt by deathstroke second special to not take into account damage reduction modifiers such as damage cap and block so good sign here that means you can finally level up your special ability of deathstroke and it's going to be helpful why because previously what was happening is for league raids uh, like uh, if you had Deathstroke's special ability to at 5% for example and League Raids has you know a modifier of 2.67% maximum damage that means if you did 5% damage it meant uh, that you would lose the additional you know 2.33% damage that you dealt because you would reach the 36% stack fast and as a result you know you would lose that additional 2.33 percent damage so they're rectifying this this means that uh, if you level up your sp you are not going to be penalized anymore that's what i believe it's going to be let's look at fix a bug with deathstroke slow backward dash so they're making it faster it's a good sign it's going to be fun to use uh, uh, like a deathstroke now fixed a bug that allowed deathstroke stacking to be interrupted good sign again Nightmare Batman doesn't apply power drain, good sign. Fixed a bug with Marsh Manhunter's second passive telepathic might that did not work on a revived character. Good signs again. So these are all good signs. Fixed a bug with Deathstroke's second passive where it could get triggered even after an unsuccessful special attack. I think this is a negative one. Uh, I think this is a negative one. Uh, I don't exactly remember what was the second passive of... Uh, Deathstroke, let me try to recall. I think probably it's a critical attack chance gain, I believe, or that was probably the third passive. But whatever it is, I think uh, it's it's something bad for the players because uh, you could trigger it even with an unsuccessful special and now you're not. But it's it's a bug fix at the end of the day. Fix a bug with Sub-Zero's first special, allowing it to be interrupted. Nobody cares. Fixing the, uh, fix the, fixing the mixed fixing the mixed first button in the customer field support i think that should be the way i should read it because uh yeah it's good to have it but it doesn't really help that much because the customer support is uh, terrible at the end of the day fixed a bug that caused further purchase of the same store item to be blocked if player closed the game so i didn't face this uh, before i have made a lot of purchases in the past but uh uh, we'll see how this all things work and expect a few ban waves as well for players with this new update i believe so a lot of changes a lot of updates main feature is saying just to uh, like the battle pass i would say uh, but this it was a big video covering a lot of the details and the expectations as well but uh, let's conclude for this video let's wait for the game to come uh, live uh, this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here signing off you guys take care and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace